Namaste, my dears, and welcome back here to Lavi Sound and Yoga. I'm Laura, and this Yin Yoga sequence will connect us a little bit with our fear, and we will work with the organs of the kidneys, which are in the lower back of our body, because the kidneys are related to our fear based on traditional Chinese medicine. More about this during the sequence. You don't need any special props. If you need a blanket or a block to sit a little bit elevated, then please take it and use it. We start directly with bringing our feet in the front and bring the soles of your feet together so the knees can fall apart. So if you need here already a little bit height for your hips to sit up, then please do so. And now we will, in a minute, lean forward. And when you lean forward, I really, really want to ask you to just go to the edges of your resistance. So when you feel the first resistance, you stay there. Because especially in this sequence, take care about yourself and practice really, really gentle. So you can let your spine round and slowly, slowly make your way into a forward fold here. And when you feel the first edge or the first resistance, you stay. And there's a variation, if you want, you can take your thumbs and take them in this little hole in between the balls of your feet and the soles of your feet. So there is a little hole in between the, the big toe ball and the other ones, which is in the acupressure point of our kidney. So we can make a little gentle touch here. And otherwise, just relax your shoulders, your head. As I said, the spine can round and you can dive into this posture of yourself where we stimulate the lower back by leaning forward. So we lengthen this area. And as I said, we will work with our kidneys because the kidneys they home our um, our trust, the trust in ourself and this universal trust. And if this trust is in a way imbalanced or we are not connected to this trust and when we are not connected to this organ, then our body naturally is reacting through fear. And this is not bad because fear is also protecting us. So fear is not always bad. But some fears can, of course, also freeze us or can hold us back of doing other things or lock us. So in a way, it is more about like seeing or feeling which fears are protecting me and which fears Maybe it's the time to let go. And as I said, please be really gentle with yourself in this sequence because when we go into emotional topics like this, we need to give ourselves and our body this security and the gentleness rather than to, to be harsh to ourselves. If you have the thumbs on the acupressure point, please release your hands. So either just let them on your feet or maybe take your hands next to your feet for some more breath here. Let the head relax and the shoulders. We also have here a gentle opening of our hip area. And let the breath flow really naturally through your body. Good. Then bring your hands to your mat. So as slow as we went into the posture, bring yourself out and let the head be the last which rolls up. Great. Then bring your hands to your knees, help your knees together and bring the feet a little bit wider that you can place the hands behind you and then let the knees fall to the right and left just to neutralize your hip area a little bit. 
Good. And then from here, we come to lay on our belly on our mat. Lay down on the mat, bring the feet like hip width distance apart, and then come up onto your forearms for our swings. And here you see that the elbows are underneath your, your shoulders, so not too far to the back. Better to bring them a little bit to the front. Then here, relax the legs, the feet and the butt. And then you can like meld into your shoulder blades that you are sinking into the shoulder. So you can also relax them. And the head can either stay in line of your spine or you can let it hang down. So see that you let go of all the tension and muscle activity in your body to come into this passivity and the gentleness. And then here we stimulate with compression our lower back where our kidneys are at home. And with each and every breath, we massage this area and the organ itself. And already to bring attention to this area brings us more and more in connection with this trust. The trust to ourself, the trust that everything has happened in the right way for us. And through trust, we can also look into our fears. Feel your hip area really grounded and connected to the earth as a sign of security. And feel the space of your chest wide and open as a sign that you open up to the things or to the fears and emotions which are there and that you are open to accept them or first of all to see them. Relax your face, the shoulders and for the last couple of breaths just stay here. Good. And then slowly bring your hands underneath the shoulders and sit back onto the heels into a child's pose. Sit back, either bring your hands to the front or bring your hands underneath your head to rest your head and relax the shoulders. And then here, for a couple of breaths, just arrive in this counter posture where the part where we had really tightness and compression in our lower back is getting now space, receiving the breath, relax also the shoulders and just notify which sensations are running through you right now. Good. And be open for everything what is bubbling up because it is now the right time maybe that you see it here in your secure space of your mat. And then slowly roll yourself upright. And then sit to the sides of your heels to stretch the legs to the front. So here again, if you need a little support that you sit a little bit elevated, then please do so. The feet are hip width distance apart and then let the feet and legs totally relax. And we practice exactly the same like at the beginning. As I said, please be gentle with yourself. So when you lean forward, take care about the edge of your resistance and what your body 
feels right with. Bring your hands down and then walk your hands slowly, slowly to the front that you can lean forward, rest or relax your shoulders and let your head drop. The feet can fall to the sides wherever they want to fall maybe because you relax them. And then arrive in this shape of your body where we now lengthen our whole back. So also the area of the kidneys. And I love to see forward folds as um, like gratitude or to bow forward to something. And maybe you can bow forward to what's your fears. Because your fears, as I said, are also good. And they protect you and they show you something. Maybe they even show you something where you need to let go of or where you need to grow. And whenever we want to work with these deep emotions of fear, the first thing is to see them. And then maybe we can accept them as part of ourselves. And then maybe we can let them go. But it is the process. It's really difficult sometimes. Let your belly relax and let the breath flow really freely through your body. Because the breath is probably the first sign of for sure affected if we come into the emotions of fear. Our breath gets really shallow. So here, take the full breath in a really relaxed and gentle pace. Take the last three breaths here. And then slowly roll your body upright into a straight position of your spine and feel this long spine, the proudness you can have when you now are again upright. And then slowly find your way back on your mat on the back. Bring the feet hip width distance apart and place your hands on a part of your body just to feel your hands somewhere on your body. And now it's the time to totally let go. But feel the hands touching as a sign of connection, of this trust. That through this trust in this secure space of your yoga mat, you can let go whatever is not serving you anymore. Relax your shoulders and your head and the rest of your body. For a couple of moments in total relaxation and rest of your body. And if you feel good here and you want to extend this relaxation, then you're really, really welcome. And if you feel you want to wake up slowly, then move your fingers, your hands, your feet, maybe stretch yourself out. Slowly roll to one side, 
and let your eyes maybe close when you come into a seated position of your choice. And with your eyes closed for a moment, just feel within what can you perceive in feelings, emotions, and what maybe has changed since the beginning of the class. And then bow your head down a little bit as a form of gratitude that you took your time to dive into this topic. And in a form of gratitude towards your fear, because they are a part of you and they are protecting you. And maybe they show you where you need to work on. I say my biggest thank you to you. Thank you for practicing with me and for giving your trust um, to practice this sequence. Um, if you want to know more about us, me and Vincent and Lavi, then have a look in the video description that you find our website and our offers. And I'm super, super happy if you, um, if you subscribe to this channel because this will help us on our way to um, put out more content for you. Thank you so, so much and see you in the next ones. Namaste.